YouTube. Welcome to day 58 of the orbit. Um, check out my book haul that I got from the library today. This is what I'm going to be reading this week. Um, oh, I read this already. I'm going to read it for you guys later. Siddhartha um, by Herman Hesse. John Steinbeck's Of Mice and Men. The Fire Next Time by Baldwin. Uh, Achuebe's Girls at War and Other Stories. Gogol. Uh, the Overcoat and other short stories. War, uh, I think her name's Warden. Um, wait, wait. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Ethan Frome's Edith Wharton. I think. That is weird. Two names. Okay. If the title of the book is a name of a person, it always, always confuses me. Narratives of the Life of Frederick Douglass. I believe that's by Frederick Douglass. Um, and the Red Badge of Courage by Stephen Crane. So, I'm going to read these this week and then review them for you. They're all classics, and I've never gotten to read those. M wants me to review one of her Scottish romances. Um, apparently they're awesome. So maybe one day I'll do that. So it's come up that I, um, really like other languages. I'm uh, very interested in learning other languages, but... I always try to learn a language, and then I have no one to ever practice it with. And then, you know, you, you need to practice the language to be able to, you know, retain it. And I have taken classes, um, I took Spanish for years, so I can get by with Spanish. Um, taking classes in Italian, Mandarin, my dad's tried to teach me uh, Tagalog, and which is the national language of the Philippines, and Visayan, which is his... Um, dialect, as well as American Sign Language, and um, I can also speak English, kind of, because I now have, you know, a friend through YouTube Orbit, you know who you are, um, who can speak German. Maybe I can uh, pick up a little German, if she can critique me a little bit. So, this is what I picked up from the library today, along with my haul. Learn German in your car. Eh. 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 Ooh, that is an interesting eh. Eh. Eine Bushaltestelle. Einen Bushaltestellen. What? I. Obviously, I have a long way to go with this, but I really do want to learn some German. I do know a German song. It's a lullaby. It's called In Stiller Nacht. Die Blumen. I have no idea what that means. Today's book review, Cutting to the Chase, is going to be John Steinbeck's The Pearl. This is such a little book, it's um, this book is 90 pages, 90 pages, and it's a novella. Just like the old man in the sea, because um, you know, like what, like I said when I did that book review, it's too long to be a short story, and it's way too short to be a novel. So it's a novella. I read this story when I was in seventh grade, and wow, I remember I had to do a project for it, and we, um, the person that I was with, her name was Davika. We worked together, and we made this awesome collage of like symbols from the book and like what it like our take on things in the book it's a very very simple story and it's based on a story that originated in mexico i believe this is what the back says like his father and grandfather before him kino is a poor diver gathering pearls from the gulf beds that once brought great wealth to the kings of spain and now provide kino juana and their infant son with meager subsistence then, on a day like any other, Kino emerges from the sea with a pearl as large as a seagull's egg, as perfect as the moon. With the pearl comes hope, the promise of comfort, and of security. Or does it? Um, very symbolic story. Um, speaking to the idea that, you know, you should be happy with who you are, and should be happy with what you have in your life. You, you shouldn't. You shouldn't want to. Um, 
want more than what you're given in your life. And if you do, then there could be serious consequences. Now, I'm not so sure if I should tell you this, but this book ends sadly. Um, and normally, I wouldn't. I would just say, read this book, it's a story about la la la. But I found that if you do a book review and you decide not to tell somebody that it ends either in a happy way or in a tragic way, um, sometimes people are like, I didn't want to read a book that was going to make me sob for hours. <laughs> this book shouldn't make you sob for hours, but um, it might. What else does it talk about? It talks about um, how evil people can be. It also talks about like roles in society, what it means to be part of a system. There's a lot of morality in this book. Um, it talks about morals a lot. Major theme, greed. So if you see this picture, the guy, Kino, is standing in his boat with, I would guess it's Lana, and he's holding up to the sky this giant, giant pearl. I can't really tell you too much of the plot because this book is so thin. If I told you the plot, it would be the book. So read this book. You know, it'll, it'll make you think about things, possibly. And that's what makes a good book. If a book makes you think, it's a good book. Alright. I will see you tomorrow on day 59.